So now I'm going to run you through the steps associated with simulating the battery stack with the DMC BMS test stand. The uh, first thing we would do is click on the cell simulator MUX, and this is just a subsystem that DMC has designed consisting of a bunch of different relays which can actually connect to any cell line coming out of the 100 cell uh, stack simulator that we have in this BMS test system. So you see we have configured here uh, these relays connecting the entire battery stack out to the DUT connectors located underneath the uh, monitor. So we've actually connected the first four cells that we're simulating with this BMS straight through from the cell simulator side through to the device under test. What we've done here is we've connected the low side, the lowest potential, cell 0, and we've connected cell 1 to our voltmeter. And we're in a voltage measurement mode on the DMM, so we're going to show you uh, how we would take a reading of the entire four cell stack, go back to the main screen, click on the DMM for the cell voltage stack, we set the measurement mode to voltage, we come over here to this button and click get a measurement reading of voltage. You see that the point measurement is showing us 13.98 volts because we've set all of the cell voltage simulators to 3.5. If we set the cell voltage simulator to set all four of the cells that we're simulating to 4 volts, we set only the selected cells by Clicking this button, you'll see on the graph that the cells have all increased to 4 volts. We go back and we make the same measurement again with our digital multimeter across the entire cell stack. You can see that we now get 16 volts. So now we've set our simulated cells inside the VMS test stand to all uh, put out 4 volts. We've measured that the entire battery stack is 4 times 4 volts or 16 volts. When we go to the Texas Instruments uh, evaluation software, we see that cell voltage 4, 3, 2, and 1 are all nominally 4 volts. We actually have a range from 4,000 millivolts to 4,005. This is a way that we could test the accuracy of the BMS. We can actually see if we pan over to this section of the screen that the overall battery voltage is 16,008 millivolts. We also see that the temperature is 25.75 C because we have the temperature sensor simulators set to a nominal room temperature value of 10 K. You can see that the current we have is 28 milliamps because we have the current sensor simulator set to nominally uh, zero, out, uh, 0 volts which would uh, correspond to about 0 amps out of the BMS. Now we'll go back to the uh, BMS simulator screen and we'll change some of those settings and we'll take another look at what the TI evaluation software is telling us. Now we're back to the BMS tester uh, manual mode control of the simulated outputs. Now we're going to actually change the uh, temperature sensor simulators here. Of course the system can simulate 50 individual thermistors or temperature sensors but what we're going to be uh, simulating here is only two. So you can see we have thermistor number two set to nominal 10K. We're actually going to change that value and set this to 1660, 1.66K. We're also going to change to set thermistor two, or thermistor one to 1.66K. So to simulate a different temperature sensor uh, condition to the BMS board. We're also going to go down here and click on the current sensor simulator. You can see that we have it set nominally to zero with a little bit of offset uh, to simulate a zero current condition. We're actually going to set that to uh, 50 millivolts. We hit update settings. Now we've simulated a new current sensor condition into the BMS. You can also go back to the cell voltage simulator now and we can set uh, some particular cells to different cell voltages. Let's delete cell 1 and 3, so we're setting cells 2 and 4 only over here. And actually set the cell voltage for cells 2 and 4, let's set it to uh, 3. 0.3 volts or a lower setting.
click on the button set array of cells. You can see the graph shows us that we have cells 1 and 3 set to 4 volts and cells 2 and 4 set to 3.3. Now we're back to the Texas Instruments uh, monitor software that comes with the eval board we're using as our BMS under test. You can see here that the temperature has gone up to 80 degrees C. That's because we uh, lowered the resistance of the thermistors we were simulating. See the voltage is now at 14.6 volts. You can also see the current that the BMS thinks it's at is around 5 amps and that corresponds to us changing the current sensor simulator to an increased voltage. You can see that it's also calculating the average current over time and uh, since we were running zero before the average current matches well with the current uh, that we're actually running right now. If we pan over a little bit, you'll see the cell voltage indicators showing 3.3 .3 on cell 1, nominal 4 volts on cell 3, excuse me, this is cell 4 at 3.3, cell 3 at 4 volts, cell 2 at 3.3, and cell voltage 1 at 4 volts, which matches what we set as the uh, status inside of our BMS test stand simulated outputs. So another interesting measurement that we can make with this arrangement is to set our multiplexer between the battery cell stack simulator and the BMS under test. We can set this relay uh, system to measure the current on a particular supply line. So you can see in this case we've closed these two outer relays which force current through the digital multimeter inside the PXI chassis out to the product and on the rest of the lines we have a relay, a shunt relay or bypass relay closed so that those cells go directly through from the simulator to the product. So let's see what the current looks like on this lowest supply line from the battery cell stack. We'll set that relay configuration, close that interface panel and open up the digital multimeter. We'll set it to current measurement mode and start a waveform capture and you can see this is the amount of current flowing on that supply line. We set the waveform duration for a tenth of a second. The sample rate to 100,000 samples per second. This is actually 10,000 measurement points with five and a half digits of resolution. You can see that the, the mean value is about seven milliamps right here and you can see that it's a very complex waveform due to the uh, BMS powering itself off of the cell stack. Today we've demonstrated for you the BMS test stand developed and produced by DMC. We've used a Texas Instruments 4-cell BMS system as a demonstration of a typical BMS that we would test with this system. We've used their evaluation mode software and an SMBus to USB converter all by Texas Instruments to demonstrate the outputs from this BMS and so that we can take a glimpse into what the battery management system board and fuel gauge chip believes it sees as simulated inputs. We've also used the DMC BMS test stand software running in manual mode to simulate varying conditions of the battery cell stack voltages. We've changed them from nominal high to nominal low into a staggered voltage arrangement. We've also changed the current sensor simulator to simulate zero current and a higher current. And we've also changed the temperature sensor simulators to simulate a room temperature and a high operating temperature condition. And we've seen how the DMC simulated inputs are plugged into the BMS system and how those correspond to the outputs that you see on the TI demonstration mode software. Thank you, and if you have any questions, feel free to email us or visit us at www.dmcinfo.com.